Congresswoman-elect and QAnon conspiracy theorist Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia went on Newsmax TV to explain to viewers with a straight face, mind you, why she believes it's the case that Democrats managed to rig the election in Georgia against Donald Trump, but somehow forgot to rig the election against her and her Democratic opponent. Now, when she makes this argument, she's going to contradict herself in less than one minute. And I mean, this is just comical to me. So we'll take a look and then I have another clip to show you after this. Uh, so did you have an opportunity at all to listen to the news conference earlier from uh, the president's attorneys there and some of the things they're questioning? They mentioned specifically with Georgia, where all of these votes seem to be being discovered, that they expect to file a lawsuit in Georgia tomorrow. They, they definitely should file a lawsuit. I want to tell you right now, Georgia voters have lost complete confidence in our Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, We've lost confidence in the Dominion voting machines, and we've lost com confidence in our elections. And this is an important time. We know for a fact that President Trump won Georgia. We do not believe Joe Biden won our state. We are not a blue state. Um, and we want our election secure going into our very important sent off runoff races on January 5th. Uh, Marjorie, do you believe that you were fairly elected, that, that that part, or do you feel like you are kind of in with all of this that was uh, unfair in some way? I, I know that um, I'm fairly elected. I live in a very strong Republican district. It's uh, R plus 27. So I have great confidence in, in my election, given mm -hmm. the fact that my district is such a strong Republican district. But what I do know um, in Georgia, my state as a whole, we have, we have a lot of counties that need to be completely looked at. We have 159 counties in our state. And when we're picking up 2,600 um, uh, brand new votes, uh, just in my county alone, in Floyd County, in my district, and we're picking up votes in other counties, we know we need to look at every single county in Georgia. But the real issue here is, look at these Dominion voting systems. They have ties to countries like Venezuela, they keep their servers where over in companies like Germany and Spain. You know, the real issue is something that President Trump brought forward is we need to put America first. And that includes our elections, including the servers that contain important information um, from voters in our elections. And, and that's something that I would like to bring up. <laughs> now, I hate to be redundant, but I've got to read what she said back to you. She says, Georgia voters have lost complete confidence in our Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger. We've lost confidence in the, Demo in the Dominion voting machines, and we've lost confidence in our elections. Then literally seconds later, she says, I have great confidence in my election. So Democrats rigged the election against Donald Trump, but not you. Why would they forget that? I mean, you are pretty out there, right? You'd think that if they're going to rig any elections, they wouldn't want to forget your election. But, you know... People in Georgia, they don't have any faith in the Dominion voting machines, uh, in Brad Raffensperger, the Secretary of State, when it comes to the presidential race. But when it comes to your race, they have great confidence in the Dominion voting machines and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. Why would this be the case? Like, you only have to think about this for a few seconds to understand how ridiculous that is. Uh, why would Democrats not rig the House and Senate elections, but only rig the presidential race. That makes no sense. If they're going to do any rigging whatsoever, you'd think they'd go all out, right? But she she has no facts, no, no evidence, not even basic logic. What she says here is nonsensical. Um, and <laughs> on top of that, I have to get to something else she said in a different interview with Newsmax. Because she echoed the same sentiment uh, about the election being rigged, but she said something else that was really peculiar to me. Well, I think I think a lot of Georgia voters are not confident in our elections right now, and I'm very happy Governor Kemp has has made those calls to audit the signatures and for and you know basically backing President Trump for the recount. I think we need to go further. I really want to see the state legislators come together with a special session. I want to see the loophole closed to stop Democrat activists from all over the country from moving to Georgia um, and, and trying to vote in our very important Senate runoffs. Now, if it sounded to you like she basically said, I want to stop Democrats from moving to Georgia so that way they can't vote here. Um, 
that is exactly what she's saying. She says, I want to see the loophole closed to stop Democrat activists from all over the country from moving to Georgia and vote in our very important Senate runoff. What loophole is she referring to? Now, I, I did some research and I don't know exactly what legal loophole she's referring to. But the only thing that I could find is the loophole being that uh, registration ends on December 7th. So if you are someone who's moving to Georgia, you can still register to vote in this upcoming Senate runoff by December 7th. So the fact that someone who just moved to Georgia being able to register to vote until December 7th, that is what I'm assuming is the loophole she's referring to. But in terms of the evidence that there's this huge wave of Democrats moving to Georgia to tip the scales in favor of Democrats, I don't see it. But the only thing that I found was Andrew Yang, who tweeted out that he will be moving to Georgia to help Ossoff and Warnock win. And he didn't even say that he'd be voting for them. Uh, he just said that he would help campaign for them. Um, I hate to tell you this, but that's perfectly legal. That's perfectly legal. American citizens can move to other states. And guess what? Republicans can do the same thing. Republicans from Texas can move to Georgia to help Purdue and Loeffler win. So, I mean, what do you what do you propose the solution be to this problem? Should we ban Democrats from moving to Georgia? I don't know what the expectation is. It seems like you just want to complain that Democrats or one Democrat, Andrew Yang, is moving to Georgia to help influence this election. I don't know if he's going to canvas or whatever, but that's that's legal. This is one country with different states and we can move around. I don't know how many people are actually going to want to base their residency on one single election. But nonetheless, if people want to do that, they could do that. Democrats can do that. Republicans can do that. What do you expect? This doesn't mean that there is evidence that Democrats are rigging this election. This just means that Andrew Yang really cares about these two runoff races. So, I mean, everything she says, it has no evidence. It's all just, you know, uh, conjecture, conspiracy theories. Um, and to really even call it theories at this point, eh, that gives it too much credit because she's just like vomiting out words that don't have any connection to reality. This woman is untethered to reality. And she talks about, you know, Dominion voting machines. And it's funny because all you have to do is a quick 30 second Google search and you'll see that most of the things Republicans have said about them are laughably stupid. So I've seen some boomer memes, sh memes shared on Facebook where basically they share this logo that looks super nefarious that says Dominion, <laughs> changing the way people vote. And as you can see, a red ballot goes in, a blue ballot comes out, and they make it seem as if this is super nefarious. But if you go to their website and look at their actual logo, that isn't their logo. That's literally fake news. And I almost forgot to mention, in that first video, she brought up Venezuela and that Dominion a company based in Denver, Colorado, has uh, ties to Venezuela. I mean, the things that she is saying are fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid. And look, here's the thing. We can find some common ground here, Marjorie. How about this? I also agree that maybe we shouldn't have private companies uh, tabulate the voting results. So why don't you and I propose that we nationalize Dominion? Well, she wouldn't support that because then that would be socialism and socialism bad. And for individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene and anyone who follows her who are actually concerned that the election is fraudulent, you can actually audit this election yourself. You can go to your county and ask to audit this election. Everyone can do that. We have the ability to do that. But you don't want to do that because you're just too lazy. It's easier to listen to what Donald Trump tells you to do and just, you know, take him at his word while not actually taking the time to either research things yourself or audit, audit the election results in your county. So, I mean, this is why, you know, America is in this uh, sad state of affairs because we are in this post-factual era where nobody can even agree on what's in front of us. Empirical reality, like that doesn't bode well for the long-term health of our country if we have people who are basically delusional. So people like Marjorie Taylor Greene aren't helping, but I'm not going to lie. She is quickly becoming one of my favorite members of Congress because um, this is a train wreck that I am not going to want to look away from. Uh, she is, uh, she's out there. <laughs> and it, it's really interesting to see how the Republican Party establishment responds to her. But if I had to guess, they're probably going to embrace her. I mean, you'll see people like Mitt Romney shun her. But in terms of like the aggregate 
Republican Party, she's going to be a rising star because the crazier you are, the faster you move up the ranks in the Republican Party. Trump became president, so uh, this type of politics is popular among the MAGA base. So, yeah, great.